Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo Global Election. Yega released first pre-election findings on political activities. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. A very warm big thank you to you for your support. We really appreciate you. Thanks for being there. A uh, very warm uh, September is exactly how many days to go? Yes, 18 days to go to the all-awaited Edo election. Something, you know, something happened yesterday. You know, uh, a few people, uh, about two persons lost their life yesterday uh, in a ghastly motor accident in which national, the former national chairman of APC was involved, talking about Adam Sushumole, although he was on he was on injured no harm came to him but two policemen in the process also died and um, you know APC suspended any further uh, you know uh, campaign or uh, just to mourn the people who have lost their life the election is 18 days to go and Yega is an African uh, African uh, agency looking at the political setting and the situation in the uh, Edo state and is giving their findings let's go on straight into the news and get all the details Edo global election Yega released first pre-election findings on political activities Yega Africa as the Edo governorship election draws closer an election observer, Yega, Africa, Tuesday released the first pre-election observation. Pro report, reports on political activities carried out so far by political parties and their candidates. The pro reports were subject to 2020 Edo election, an election defined by stereogram tactics, violence, revealed some key findings which include dominance of two political parties and their campaign, split of pre-election violence, escalating potential hotspots and fresh points of violence, state of INEC preparedness for the election, poor publicity sanitization on new policies and guidelines on voting amidst COVID-19, voter independence and pursuit of permanent voter cards, clearing exec execution and other representations of women and human rights violation by security agencies. According to Yoga, the two dominant parties in the governorship race are guilty of violence, hate speech, vandalization, violence, and a dual state currently witnesses a signal on court group activity, especially in Okbodo, Okada, Orodo, Owena, West local government area, which are the track able to an escalating sub subculture of violence built around well-known strong men, including thugs, tours, gangsters, cultists, on the other hand, and widespread belief that the election cannot be won or smooth governance guarantee without strength, tactics, and support of poor, powerful thugs. The pro involves the deployment of 24 carefully recruited and trained LTOs in each of the 18 local government area in a do state to systematically observe and gather information considering the pro-election environment and early warning signs of conflict and election violence. These citizens observers are equipped with a checklist to record the relevant information and provide viable finding. 24 of the LTOs reports bi-weekly on a standard set of questions at the local government level, which the others are mobile within the state and they report actual incidents only. The LTCs are recruited from their local government area of residence where they, are, where they monitor election activities such as voters, education information, political campaign activities, migrating group, youth, women, and PWDs, and election-related violence round the clock. 
Additionally, they track the election electoral stockholders' activities like INEC, potential parties, NOA, COS, and women, youth, and PWDs. All findings from the LTOs are transmitted to the WTC data center via software codes, SMS, and, other and others thereby analyzed and reported periodically. However, in the case of critical in incidents, the WTC project escalated immediately to six sisters, S CSOs, and, so and security agencies like the Nigerian Police Force and Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, as well as INEC. The report reads in part, Edo State political contest has been influenced in shaping the politics of the Edo governorship election as revealed in Yega African Watching the Vote WTC DV findings from the very first phase of the pre-election observation pro in the state. Yega Africa deployed long-term observers throughout the state to observe the pre-election environment to monitor government response to COVID-19 in the 18 local government area. These pre-election observations also include violence monitoring as part of the early sign willing warning system designed to prevent election, electoral violence and track the previous of human rights violation, particularly in light of COVID-19 pandemic. For this re report's face, the findings from the local government area include that why INEC released a list of candidates from 14 political parties in the September 19 election, political campaigns appears to be dominated by the All Progressive Congress and People Democratic Party. The competition has been reduced to, con to constitute between personalities as possessed of issues-based campaign. The WTC long-term observers reported incidents of violence, verbal and physical attack, identified base violence and hate speech record and campaign strategy deployed of both parties for campaign. Key observation findings include two parties dominated the political arena in line with INEC timetable for the electoral political parties campaign commenced from June the 21st, 2020. Yega Africa monitor political party campaign activities such as campaign rally, display of posters by political parties, media engagement, and meeting of political parties contesting in the election. Campaigns are dominated by the All Progressive Congress and People Democratic Party, the Labour Party LP, and the New Nigerian Political Party are engaged in campaign, but not with the same intensity, media coverage, and publicity participation like the APC and PDP. LTOs witnessed our hearing of campaign accommodated to the APC and PDP in 17 out of 18 local government area. So this is the African body monitoring elections secretly in Edo State. What is there more to say? Leave us your comments. Bye for now.